Hi, I'm Ryan Lalon, President of MLA Canada. And I'm Susanna Gonsalves, EVP of Sales and Marketing. Today we're here to talk about one of the hottest real estate markets right now in real estate, Coquitlam. So there's no doubt about it. Coquitlam is a growing submarket right now. It's attracting investors and young families alike. It's been a really strong market mover for uh, Metro Vancouver uh, throughout 2020. Then of course, right into 2021, the HPI benchmark, the price has increased 5.8% over the past three months. That's a big, big increase and certainly on pace with so many other markets that we've seen around it. Sales are up 136% from where they were a year ago. Uh, and, and of course, sales volumes, uh, historic highs right now in Coquitlam. So let's talk market data. Currently, we have 14 active programs. 10 of them are wood frame, four of them are concrete, and the four that are concrete are some, some very large uh, master plan or single point towers. Every project has seen really strong demand and really strong sales outcomes. The MLA Advisory Intelligence team, uh, uh, they've essentially crowned Coquitlam one of the hottest marketplaces right now in the Lower Mainland. Uh, I think that that's a function of so many homeowners looking for more space, more affordability, but also wanting the connectivity that, that Coquitlam really offers. Yeah, absolutely. So let's talk about some of those recent launches in the area. Uh, obviously for concrete products, we have Smith & Farrow by Buffalo Developments, uh, an elevated, very high quality offering. We've got uh, Jinju by Anthem Properties, released on the heels of their Soko project in the same neighborhood. Uh, we've also seen some wood frame products. Uh, so Kira by Woodbridge, 116 extremely well-crafted homes just two minutes from SkyTrain, uh, and phase two of the Oaks by Strand with a very strong amenity package. When we think about upcoming launches, we're watching uh, Sydney by Lettingham and Callister, and notably View by Amicon, one of our clients, which will provide 289 very functional and efficient homes on Foster. That's coming soon, and there's a lot of excitement already building about that offering, something to pay very close attention to. So while we're talking market data, we have to talk about some of the interesting trends right now that are happening in pre-sale. Uh, let's first start with wood frame. So not too long ago, uh, the very beginning of 2020, we saw a price point hovering around $700 to $725 price per square foot in wood frame. Uh, over the past year, that's really escalated. We're seeing that now pushing uh, towards the $800 mark and the Oaks by Strand, uh, their upcoming release pending soon, uh, that appears to be pressing past 800 into the 820s. And that's incredible to see that type of growth. A really, new benchmark. A new benchmark, uh, something that we're gonna continue to pay very close attention to. And then when we think about concrete, right? There was a lot of question marks coming into 2021 with the amount of supply in this marketplace, how would price per square foot fare? And what we've really noticed is that, you know, some of the Anthem's previous project was SoCo, starting out in the, the mid eights to, to high eights, uh, with, with, with West Coquitlam coming live. We've seen much of that push into the nines and 925s. And what's really interesting is so much of the inventory that will come throughout the remainder of 2021 and into 2022 uh, would be at price points that push around 1,000 to 1,050 per square foot. And what that really means is, is that a lot of opportunity for price growth for any investors that are active in the marketplace today. It's interesting, you just said 1,050, which made me kind of pause for a second. But the reality is, is we're not quite there yet today, but we will be in short order because of just the growth and uh, and the development that's happening in Coquitlam. So it's, it's, uh, it's actually a great time to buy right now because <laughs> it's gonna be up to 1,050. So let's talk a little bit about the resale numbers. So total inventory has decreased to 199. That's down almost 27% uh, than it was the same time last year. Uh, the decrease in inventory and of course coupled with the historic high in sales uh, in recent months has caused the sales to listing ratio to jump to a whopping 94 percent 94 percent yeah so to put that into perspective typically a buyer's market is anything 12 percent or below a neutral market is between 12 and 20 percent and a seller's market is anything over 20 percent so to be at 94 percent you can imagine what that means for price escalation and, and the overall market so with such a high sales to listing ratio, uh, it's translated, of course, into multiple offers on listings. Many are unconditional. Uh, there's a risk that it could translate into buyer fatigue if purchasers sort of are consistently outbid on their homes. They sort of get tired of trying and losing out. Uh, and so we're watching that closely. And that's just, again, to benefit the pre-sale marketplace. One of the huge outcomes and one of the big benefits of, of considering pre-sale is that rather than just one home in that one building, in that one little part of town um, or neighborhood, you have the opportunity of hunt 
a selection of hundreds of homes uh, that, that suit your needs. And, and, and of course, there's some really incredible offerings uh, across those 14 projects within West Coquitlam that I think are really giving uh, home buyers a lot more choice than they typically would have had over the last two years. So of course, everything we've talked about, Coquitlam is clearly a great location for those looking to get into the market, especially if you're a first time home buyer, uh, those who are looking to sort of want to have a great balance of work as well as recreation, uh, and of course still have convenient access to transit. Coquitlam offers all of those things. Um, in addition, those looking to upsize are, are on the hunt, of course, for more space, for home offices, guest rooms, additional outdoor space. We're seeing that a lot. They tend to be a little less price sensitive, but they're still very conscious of affordability. They want higher end finishings and spec level to match their lifestyle, but they also want good value. You know, Suze, right now we're working on a handful of programs in this marketplace, some in market today and many in the future. And if you have to think about those, those three drivers right now that all, so many home buyers are looking for, what would you define them as? Yeah, great question. I think if I were to boil it down, uh, certainly accessibility, access to transit is a, a key factor. Uh, location in terms of uh, work-life balance, so recreation and convenience, but also with the amount of office that's coming particularly around Coquitlam Centre, there's lots of opportunities to work and, and live in the same area. Uh, and of course, you know, people are still looking for space and the ability to get more space at a more affordable dollar because we've, you know, come a little bit further east is, is definitely important. Yeah, that's a fair point. When you think about the downtown core, somewhere between, you know, $1,800 and $2,500 a square foot, you have some of the recent transactions that have come out of Concord's um, Metrotown offering. These are pushing up above $1,250 a square foot. You think about Brentwood pushing right now towards $1050 and $1100 a square foot. At $900 for concrete and at, at the low eights for wood frame, that's a pretty incredible value. Uh, especially when you think about the notion that if you were to jump onto the other side of the Fraser, parts of Surrey and Langley, you know, you're are over $800 are, now. Or over $800. <laughs> uh, but within a 15 minute, you know, within a, a 30 minute drive or 15 kilometers of the downtown core, that's a pretty incredible offering. And I think that's why we've seen this influx in this market. That's why Coquitlam is uh, as hot as it is, is because people are really coming to this real realization and, and that's why we're seeing the sales volumes. Yeah, well said. So Susanna, Coquitlam, who's buying right now? I think that that's the number one question that we have from every one of our development partners and all of our real estate agent partners. Yeah, it's a, it's a great question. And um, of course we're seeing a, a broad and, and diverse group. Uh, we're definitely seeing in both wood frame and concrete product, we're seeing our room to start. That's our first time home buyer group. Over 30% of our buyers have fallen into this category. And uh, they're really taking advantage of low interest rates. Uh, and of course the price points that we had, particularly before the run up in, in the last three months. Uh, we've also seen the investor come back, it's room to show uh, into the market. They tend to focus on concrete product more than wood frame. About 40% of our buyers are in this group and they're motivated by truly an investment purchase. So they're likely to, to either rent first and either let their kids move in down the road or perhaps they'll downsize into it, or of course just continue to rent it. But they're interested in long-term equity growth primarily. Right. I, I, I got asked this question though, you know, actionable intelligence, room to start, room to grow, where are we on the copyrights with those? They uh, are, are pending. I'm sure if, if they haven't been done already, it's, uh, it's about to. So trademark filed, copyright soon to be. Yeah, absolutely. So Suze, let's just quickly transition into what the key highlights are from what we just shared. Um, and the first, first and foremost, I think you have to look at the master plan communities that are being built within West Coquitlam and Coquitlam. Uh, and then you also have to look at uh, potentially the Coquitlam's approved community center area plan. Uh, you know, this really positions Coquitlam as a massive rising urban hub, right? You have an incredible number of homes, office and retail that will come live that's gonna change that landscape. And all of this is happening in a neighborhood that is already established, which is so unusual, right? So special. Uh, most Similarly, too, Coquitlam has the most concrete condominium units coming in any other submarket throughout the Lower Mainland. That's special. We know that with new development comes a lot of new opportunity and generally uh, rising price per square foot values as a result of that. Coquitlam is uh, is really on a precipice, quite frankly, and uh, I think that the secret might be out. Um, and that's why we're seeing, obviously, the, the values and the demand in this market that we've seen over the past couple of months. I think what really stands out is this isn't a, a during COVID uh, moment in time. 
it's set up over the next two decades to be a really important part of the Metro Vancouver landscape. Uh, and there's no question about it when you think about the infrastructure, when you think about the immigration, and you certainly think about the ability for it to deliver, you know, uh, so many parts of what many people are looking for to have in their lives. It's a really special community that's going to just continue to thrive in the coming years. Yeah, and, and it feels like it, they've done a really great job of, of really planning for that future. It's, it's not by accident, um, and they're truly creating this wonderfully sort of vibrant hub in, in their municipality, and it's going to be really an incredible place to live. It's also why our organization will continue to have a really long-standing footprint in the programs. It's, it's something that we're passionate about. You know, our team is working day by day and understanding not only our home buyers, but then also what are the, what are the available tracts of land, and how do we make sure that we're bringing incredible housing to that marketplace? Yeah, well said. Thank you for tuning in for another edition of the Pre-Sale Spotlight. Uh, our goal, as always, is just to continue to give our viewers actionable intelligence on everything that's happening in the local residential marketplace. Uh, we want to make sure that you guys are feeling like you have everything you need to feel like you have your finger on the pulse and leaving real estate intelligent. If there's a market or a project that you're wanting us to just dive a little bit deeper on uh, and, and host as part of our next segment, drop us a line in the comments below. Uh, we love understanding what our viewers are wanting to see more of. So just a reminder, hit that subscribe, hit that like button. And as always, we're looking forward to seeing you next time.